kind of wanted to do green eyeshadow. Didn't I say this was supposed to be a subtle look by not me wanting to do green eyeshadow at 9 a.m.? I don't think so. Actually, I do think so. I'm gonna do it. No one tells me what to do. No one can tell me if I can or can't do green eyeshadow. Not even the government. But I can stop it now any minute. I do it for myself like I need. I know, I know, I know, I look questionable. If you're wondering why I be looking like Gollum serving some Schmeagle teas, that is because it is 8 a.m. I woke up with a big brain thought. Literally, why don't I make an updated get ready with me skincare routine, morning routine thing. It is about time that I updated my skincare routine and get ready with me routine video because the last time I did a video like that was two years ago. I'm so excited to show you guys all the new stuff that I use now. So unwind, get some tea, maybe some snacks, put on a face mask and get ready with me. First, we are going to do my morning skincare routine. So let's get to it. All right, we are in my bathroom and guys, look how pretty it is. I love the decor. So this is my skin when I wake up and we're gonna get to my skincare routine but the first thing I do before my skincare is brushing my teeth because there's no point in looking fine if you're the um, I'm done. The very first step in my skincare routine, I'm going to use this Versed or Versed, I don't know how to pronounce it, emergency eye mask like lotion thing and I ain't gonna lie to you y'all this doesn't even work I don't know why I keep using it but oh well I'm just gonna use it as like a serum to massage my under eye circles I have two cleansers so I cleanse twice but the first one I'm going to be using is the Biosense or Biosense Squalene Elderberry Jelly Cleanser and it's literally so hard to get out Bruh, I'm literally shaking. I'm gonna put it on my face, wash it off. And then I'm gonna follow up with my second cleanser, which is also from Versed or Versed. I would, you know what, y'all? I'm just gonna say Versed. After that, I'm going to use my Emerald CVD Glow Oil. And I really recommend this for people who have severe, like, dry skin like I do. And I honestly recommend it doing it during nighttime. But I'm using it for the morning so that I don't have to use, uh, so I don't have to use, um, any moisturizer. I only use a little bit because it's super moisturizing. I am going to massage it into my skin and I kind of let it soak up which takes a while because it has super heavy moisture but afterwards I go on to my final and most important step which is sunscreen. So I put on back my makeup shirt that I can you know get dirty and stuff like that Rich makeup. My sunscreen has kind of settled onto my skin. You can tell that there's like a white cast almost. So let's get started on my everyday makeup. I just put out my hair. I literally have so much hair, it's not even funny. That's actually another thing that I think I have to update y'all on is like my new skin hair. Um, did I just say skin hair? This is what happens when I wake up at 8 a.m. My brain literally works on one brain cell. So while I do my makeup, we can do a little chatty chat, you know, just have some girl talk. Also, um, I'm not going to talk a lot about the products that I'm using in this video. I like to focus more on talking in depth about the skincare products when I ever, whenever I do mention my skincare. I'm going to save you all the trouble of pausing the middle of the video and trying to get like the logo to figure out what I'm using. And down below in the description, I have links of the step-by-step -step stuff that I've been using. So if you guys wanna figure out what I use for my skincare or my makeup or whatever, it's gonna be down in the description below. Literally just click the links. I labeled it like, this is my cleanser one, this cleanser two, or this is foundation one, this is whatever. So go ahead and check that out afterwards if you find a product that you like in this video. And yeah, I'm gonna let you in on an influencer secret. My skin is not clear because of the products that I use. I feel like a lot of influencers like don't tell their audience the truth about their skin when they have clear skin. 
but I'm here to expose everyone. I became like obsessed with making a strict skincare routine and I can honestly say that after years and years of experimenting the skincare routines that I literally just showed you guys just now for my morning um, combined with my night routine has been probably my most favorite that I've ever done however like I said it's my job to expose everyone people who say I got rid of my acne by using these products by doing this and everything girl Liza Minnelli lies i know so many influencers with like perfect glass barbie skin and they'll say stuff like it's all because of this product that i use but in reality they do a lot of stuff behind the scenes that they don't like to tell anyone else so that you can keep buying the product that they're using this drink this has been helping me like freaking detox everything from my skin you know to my hair to just my body and it has honestly helped me so much and y'all know that i am not stingy so i'm about to tell you what the drink is so basically what it is is just water four slices of cucumber a whole lemon a tablespoon of chia seeds and then a tablespoon of the secret ingredient which is apple cider vinegar drink one of these a day keep the uh, um ibs away you know i gotta pass on the blessings for my everyday makeup it's not very heavy i like to go for more of like a subtle natural soft vibe very feminine very petite and ready to eat so to achieve that vibe it's literally just foundation nose contour some blush mascara and eyeliner so um <laughs> not me saying that it's a simple soft girl look but then listing like 10 other items that go along with it by this is the palette i'm going to be using i stopped using my james charles palette because y'all know why i'm gonna go ahead and use like the more orangish pinkish colors to really bring out that soft natural uh color in my face you already know how it goes i gotta put blush on my nose I like how i always want to be subtle with it but i end up just not for those of you who have been around for a really long time you guys know that i've been doing the blush on my nose for such a long time and then i use my blush as contour by going up here and everything and like that tactic got went it basically went viral on tiktok and then i cried about it on my twitter <laughs> which by the way my twitter is completely private um i should probably unprivate it but i don't know how to i'd be on some else on twitter and um i don't know i feel like people need to pay me um, in order to see my twitter anyways i ended up crying on twitter but i'm gonna just say this are we surprised when a woman of color does anything it's seen as ugly they get relentlessly bullied for it they get told that their face looks like it was smashed in with a baseball bat which i was told multiple times when a white girl does it oh she's trendy oh she's the moment oh they're living for it i'm not gonna say nothing about that anyway stream my music on soundcloud soundcloud.com slash salmoncore thank you I need to do like a Q&A or something because I'm literally already running out of stuff to talk about and I'm barely on like my fifth step to my makeup. So if I'm struggling to say things, mind your business. But speaking of music, I'm literally so excited to be releasing more music. Like I'm actually working really hard behind the scenes to create, you know, um, some tunes for y'all. And before y'all hit me with the, oh, every YouTuber wants to make music. I been making music before youtube but y'all know that voice at the ending of all my videos that's me singing and i produce all my own beats my melodies and i write my own lyrics and i do absolutely everything myself so i'm a one woman show on my soundcloud and boy is it tiring like i really wish i could just have people making music for me because it takes so much work having to do all that by yourself like i wish i was dixie d'amelio and i had people making tj maxx music for me one day one day i was really 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 sad like not gonna lie like same i relate to the lyrics but what i'm saying is i wish that i could get rewarded for doing the bare minimum and here y'all go in the comments again you're just jealous um yeah this is one of my favorite lipsticks like literally ever and this isn't promoted or sponsored or whatever but it's just super freaking amazing it's maybelline super stay 24 color and this color is 
the 145 one. I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say the name. When this says that it is 24 hour super stay. It is 24 hour super stay. This stayed on my lips when I went to a Brazilian steakhouse. Where'd you get these? What the hell? Wait, what? I just missed Marina's freaking live. <laughs> mental mini breakdown is over i am going to do my eyeliner which is of course the nyx professional makeup epic ink eyeliner i talked about this before in like another video a while back and actually was sponsored by them because i actually love nyx cosmetics a lot and i love this eyeliner so y'all go ahead and get yourself this eyeliner because it's actually really really good here you go one eye is down. Ooh, look. I've had mira, me, mira, me. I just gotta do my mascara and some eyeshadow stuff and then my eyebrows. And I'll be done with my makeup. I kinda wanted to do green eyeshadow. Didn't I say this was supposed to be a subtle look by not me wanting to do green eyeshadow at 9 a.m.? I don't think so. Actually, I do think so. I'm gonna do it. No one tells me what to do. No one can tell me if I can or can't do green eyeshadow. Not even the government. All right, we are on the last step to my um, makeup. And I use this Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. And I think it's like in the color like Ash Brown or something like that. And it's such a good eyebrow pencil, literally. Look, that's me forcing it to come out more. But alas, it does not because I use it so much. And it's my favorite and I need a refill. I recently cut the edges of my eyebrows so that I have eyebrows that can like be more pointy and lift up but I'm growing them out again because it's actually a lot of maintenance unless you completely shave them off and am I willing to shave off my eyebrows yet? I don't think I've gotten to that point in my life but um, I'm, I'm getting there, it's close. My eyebrows are literally completely uneven. You know that one thing people tell you to make you feel better about your uneven eyebrows? They're like, your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. It's okay if they're uneven. First of all, you're a liar and my mom doesn't like me to hang out with liars. Second of all, Brenda, you literally have no eyebrows and my eyebrows are bushy caterpillars. So when they're uneven, they're definitely noticeable. You have stick bugs, I have caterpillars. We are not the same. We are not on the same level. We are almost done. Now we're on to the final step, which is mascara. This is the sky high for Maybelline. Like, yup, Maybelline has been killing it lately. Like, what is this? Like, what are we about to do right now? Do my bottom lashes. I have to put on my super stay gloss. I feel so much more refreshed. My skin is glowing, my face, the fit. I'm feeling absolutely good to tackle the rest of the day. Ready to piss off the Karens at my local Walmart. I wanted to give like 70s color block fashion realness, but I think instead I ended up looking like a Velma who has um, an OnlyFans. My hair was a lot more wavy before I did this hairstyle. Um, but then I brushed it and that was the big mistake so now it looks a little bit frizzy but I feel like it still fits that vibe so I think we're good but anyways thank you so much y'all for getting Ooh. anyways thank you so much for getting ready with me guys I had so much fun I missed doing videos like this I hope that y'all got ready with me again if you're interested in any of the products that I used today it will be down below in the description let me know if you guys also want to let me know if you guys also want a nighttime routine, like a nighttime skincare routine, and also like a hair update hair routine because I need to update absolutely everything. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, keep up with me and give me a follow on all my social medias. And yeah.
Bye everyone. And see you guys later.